who wants to start off? <laughs> um, uh, well, why don't you usually go for it? You know, your theory, uh, long-standing yes, theory, was correct. Was, yeah, yeah. I was like, you I were. remember. It was like, uh, I mean, there was actually quite a few moments during the episode where I just thought, just uh, <laughs> yeah, out. just like it was like. <laughs> But that moment, like when she just said, yeah, when she's like introducing herself as Agatha. Thought, yeah, I was like, yes, yes, we did it. Yes. From the episode like, one, we've said in the yeah, aftermath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we got and it right. Because like, it was, um, um, because I remember it was the thing that I said last week. I said how it's like, yeah, all right, I'm kind of sus of Pietro. It's like, seems mm. to me like he's sort of really like pushing Wanda and provoking her. But then that bit with Agnes towards the end when she like sort of eggs on vision into like going out through the portal and i'm also i'm like where whereas before i was like kind of what's the word um kind of like because it's sort of like i mean like just seeing it sort of it's become like sort of so much of a meme um around mm. twitter and reddit recently of like saying like what if so and so is mephisto and so like anytime <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> any bit of the, it's anytime there's like been any bit of like a casting rumor about like s something you know for like any of the other mcu projects mm. this looks the joke goes, it's mephisto uh, it has and to be <laughs> <laughs> but then um so it's sort of like that and then a combination of like a few of like kind of earlier references sort of like seeming to like sort of peter i love it. also thinking is is he gonna be in it is he gonna be the but i i'm going to i'm saying i want 100 it's him after mm. he's involved in this after i've got like mm. there's like about a, there's like a half hour's worth of theories i was sort of spewing out last night <laughs> talking to mitch but it's um yeah i think um i reckon yeah 100 is, is, is him he's Mephisto he's there he's Ralph first of all yeah Ralph I was gonna uh, yeah like, it has to be Ralph she keeps Mephisto. bringing Ralph up yes. and it's like it, who else is it gonna mm. be he's gonna probably turn up at the very yeah. end and then it's gonna be like oh there he is and when we're actually there in Agnes's house he's like you know it's nowhere to be seen he's exactly like, you know it's like oh yeah we, my, yeah Ralph should be here you know and she's talking but then I he's Ralph and Ralph is the bunny mm. oh yeah, he's, true he's the bunny He's the bunny. I and even because I was thinking, because also there was the fly, and I was like, "Yeah, are you trying to taunt me? I literally brought this up three episodes ago. So I was like, oh, it yeah. has to be somehow. He has to be in the show. Telling you, man, it's that bunny. <laughs> it probably is. It's There's definitely, was it the fact that, isn't it, that, um, yeah, the name, what she call him, was it, what's his name? Senor Scratchy. Yeah, is it wasn't that's like, what was the thing about that again? Uh, Mr. Scratch is like that was like an old name for the devil in old English. They call him Mr. Scratch. Yeah. And Senor Scratchy. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. And, I, uh, yeah. Uh, so the um the whole thing about Agatha in the comics is like she was like a witch from the um uh the uh Salem witch trials. Yeah. Everything in Salem mm. that was all like sort of that started because of like hunting her, and it was during the Salem witch trials that first of all the whole idea of witches being identifiable by having a mole somewhere on their body was popularized. We already mm -hmm. got that earlier in the episode. It was like, oh, wait a minute, yeah. wait a minute. Yeah. That bit. And then, and then um, it was also, because the whole concept of a witch having a familiar, some kind of pet that's sort of like, mm. you know, like their yeah. sort of associate, that's something that had been around since the Middle Ages. But the difference is it would usually be, it's just some kind of sprite or creature that sort of like appears in the form of an animal that's sort of their communion with the other world mm. and so on. But it was only after the Salem witch trials that it started to be the thing of people saying that, oh yeah, if a witch has a familiar, then it's an incarnation of the devil in some form. Right. Form that right. Is with her. Yeah. So we've got, <laughs> there's all of that. Ag Agatha is a character that's like, you know, she uh, like first was like around, you know, during the Salem Witch Trials, mm. and she has a rabbit whose name is, is named after, like, an old term for the devil. Yeah. <laughs> like, it has to be! Because yeah. people are starting to say, like, no, Mephisto's not in the show, and I'm like, yeah. it no, has to it, be! No, There's so like, many yeah. signs! Like, I know. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. like, I'm going crazy, like, I'm becoming Wanda. Like, it has yeah. to be Mephisto! There's all the people saying that with, like, sort of setting up Agatha of, like, the idea that, you know, People saying that if a feast, if a feast was to turn up, no, but she's just been introduced as the villain. Now, like, we're just gonna like say, is is that they're gonna have it that all of that was a red herring? It's like, well, no. It's just that you know the the way I'm looking at it is that Mephisto is the Dormammu to her Caecilius. Yes. You know, mm. uh, Darth Sidious to her Darth Vader. Mm. You know, mm. it's like she is the villain. She is the main villain here, but that's because she. But there's you know, the higher up. Yeah. 
there's somebody yeah. else that she's answering. I, uh, I know the fear you, the fear, know. the fear you were saying last night that we we're talking about is the idea that uh, Mephisto is like he's somewhere, he's trapped somewhere, he's somewhere locked away, and the, everything she's doing here, and this whole plan is to bring him into this plane of existence to free him from whatever prison he's in, similar to what Kaisilis was trying to do with Do Dormammu of bring him to this reality. Yeah, and the idea being that maybe something like this simple thing of he tried to convince her to help him with this. And she said, all right, one condition of, you know, she'll help him manipulate Wanda Maximoff into creating this breach in reality that she can use to pull him out of wherever he is into here. And in return, she gets to take the kids because she Ooh, wants the kids. Oh, true. Yeah. And, and something like that. That's her, that's, that's her payment for this. She mm. wants the kids because their abilities they have. Yeah. Um, and yeah, then the idea of especially like just it's seeming like at this point, uh, I don't know about yeah what you guys think, but I think definitely that I agree completely with everyone. A lot of people saying on Twitter thing. Can we all agree at this point that if they revealed uh, Evan Peters Pietro is not the X Men Pietro is just someone post Pietro, that'd be the dumbest thing they could possibly do. Oh yeah, and like I hope not. Yeah, it would. It's the fact that we're going into the next story with Wanda and Steven called the Multiverse of Madness. Yeah. To have this is this can be the, the entry point to the multiverse that he's been he's Pietro ripped from some universe that she's brought here. We saw that it's a character that already exists in both mm. universes. Exactly. And so it makes yeah. sense like, as well, because we already said that to... Pietro will substitute the one that died. So it makes sense. Yeah. 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 And I I know like, yeah, there's the, we see the shot of her controlling him, but something but say, yeah, but she's not like she's controlling him, but it doesn't mean he's like completely made up because he's not yeah. he's not some person from Earth because they would have found his face in the database and been like oh his name is actually this something or other he's this person exactly. she that they just got posing as same as they didn't find agatha anywhere because she's probably oh, she's probably what? not from this earth yeah, because she's probably yeah. not from here she's somewhere else from another universe yeah so pietro as well is not from this earth because they would have found facial recognition of who he is also but the other thing that to me is that she's controlling him but she can't give him super speed no, his powers he has his she, thing, yeah. She, yeah she can't give him that it doesn't work that way. She can mind control people, but she can't give him super speed like he has. So this is has to be Pietro from the X-Men universe because he has Pietro's powers. Mm. And she can't fabricate that. That's real. He actually has yeah. those powers. So the idea of, yeah, he's been brought in from here and everything they're doing with Wanda is an attempt. Everything that they're doing with her is an attempt to rip a hole in reality, to pull Mephisto out of wherever he is and bring him here. And the idea I thought of, well, you know, obviously... It goes without saying at this point, it's we can just I think say with 100 percent certainty that Steven's gonna turn up in the final episode because it'll go to yeah. yeah, there's all this shit going down in Jersey with these sorcerers running amok. While it's literally the sorcerer supreme, it's literally his job to come <laughs> yeah. and deal this sort of thing. So I remember you and me were talking about the idea of there being this one um, fantastic shot. It could either be either they could do the sling ring shot, which is like as mm. as beset since endgame was set up as like a sort of a symbol of hope, sort of symbol of like backups here, sort of thing. Or the idea that you and me talked about center of maybe they do both. Maybe he turns up or something, but there's a moment of inside yeah, the hex sling ring out or something. Yeah, but mm. well, maybe this maybe a scene of inside the hex, just this image of the hex wall just gets wrenched open as he like floats in and Yay! then like clo closes it behind him or something. It's like he just yeah. he just rips it open mm. with his magic. And that would be really, really what cool. That would be the mirror awesome. dimension for like the sort of final fight. Oh, mirror dimension oh, would be cool. That would look like, sick. Yeah, open, oh my god. And the, the colours. <gasps> yeah. yeah. It would it's match like the whole theme. Of if going if on. the the mirror dimension walls around them have still got the red of the hex sort yeah. of worked into yeah. them oh. as sort of like that would look really cool. But yeah. I know the thing that you and me were yeah the main thing like thinking all right so we got Wanda Pietro and Agatha and presumably Pietro's yeah Pietro's under Agatha's control mm. presumably going to the final episode final confrontation Wanda could be under Agatha's control. So then we have three antagonists in the form of yeah. Wanda, Pietro, and um, Agatha. Potentially, if Wanda isn't one of the, the people under control, under her control, maybe Mephisto comes through at that point. It's Mephisto, Agatha, and Pietro. But the idea that um, yeah, you know, that that we're talking about the idea of if either if Wong comes along with Stephen, mm -hmm. or if it's just Stephen, but the idea of there being a three v three fight of either Vision, Monica, and Stephen, or Monica. Wong and Steven versus whatever combination of bad guys will be. And the idea of being the final battle is Steven versus Wanda. 
<gasps> like while Wanda's mind controlled, Steven fights her because yeah. she's the strongest one here. He needs mm. to he's the only he one that can take, take her, her, you know? Yeah. And the idea that this the Steven versus Wanda fight would be yeah. or amazing. That would be like, sick because that would lead really well into um his second movie. But mm. also because like I because I have a strong feeling that this isn't going to be a very happy ending or yeah. like we're going to end yeah. on like a really bad note whether it's like steve losing the fight against wanda or uh just her losing like her will and just becoming like absolutely mm. obsessed with just perfection or whatever it is because we saw how unstable she has become and yeah. even the way she like reacted to monica elizabeth was amazing in that scene I know. one of my yeah. favorite scenes she did so well um so that's why. Imagine what she's going to be like, whether it's in the yeah. next episode or the episode over that. It's going to be really, really intense. And yeah, I feel like we're not going to get a very happy ending. Yeah. I'm really scared. <laughs> it's... I feel like, yeah, there's only two possibilities that I can foresee, uh, which is one, it ends and Wanda is on the bad guy side. She's with Mephisto. Maybe not. I feel like Agatha's going to get taken down by the heroes but Mephisto mm. and Wanda will get away and maybe maybe Wanda goes and Mephisto who knows I feel like because I'm gonna end with Wanda going with the bad guys or the final scene of the show is gonna be Wanda and Steven in the sanctum planning to go after Mephisto mm. that's the only two ways I can picture it going yeah. is either I feel like yeah. Vision's gonna sacrifice himself for something yeah I feel like that's gonna happen like we're gonna have yeah. to see him yeah I'm really scared this is gonna be Paul's last appearance in the MCU like this is his final thing and it makes me sad because like i know a lot of people were saying like only now i've become to like really like vision i'm like what are you talking about he was like <laughs> so good in the movies but i understand because we didn't obviously yeah. get so too much character development but yeah. he's been so good and it, now that like it's coming to the end i think everyone's really scared that this is going to be paul's yeah. final like part and he's, MCU. he's been part of mcu from literally the beginning mm, exactly this entire time he's been here uh, I remember there's something like, uh, yeah, something like that everyone said about with um, Paul has been in every first movie of a di- of each phase. Mm. He was in Iron Man, then he was in Iron Man Three, and then would have been Civil War, Civil War, Civil War. and then One Division. He's mm. been in every first episode of each phase, and this might be his last appearance. And that would be <laughs> that would be sad if he's like it if will, he's gone yeah. now, you know, but. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I'm interested to see the way it goes. I'm thinking, because we see like uh, on the the menu in Disney Plus, we see that shot of like, there's the the main shot of um, Wanda and Vision and you can see through like a TV screen, Wanda's different outfit that we haven't seen her wearing yet. Yeah. So I'm thinking that outfit is either going to turn up, that's either going to be her villain outfit when she's with the bad guys, or that's going to be outfit she's wearing at the end, uh, end of the show with Steven at the Sanctum when they're like a mm. sorcerer outfit maybe yeah. either that or that's a villain outfit i we'll really find out. want her to be a villain no offense yeah. like yeah. i love her as a no, hero same. but like yeah. i really want her to be evil especially when she said i am like i'm becoming the villain and she just smiles i was like oh, yeah yes yeah. i want it that would be really good actually i realized one thing that may work that, that work well that would mean that she doesn't have to be in she won't be with steven in spider-man 3 because yeah. she'll be off with the bad guys yeah that'll make more sense i think if she's and not be part of yeah the thing then with steven's plot line in that is that this is when he's in the process of trying to find a way to get to her. yeah yeah exactly and then by the end of the film he will then have figured out how i then, so yeah i i'm thinking that what's going to happen is pietro will wake up mm. he'll be awoken to everything going he'll remember who he is and Stephen will, it'd be a really cool moment, actually, if Stephen, like, using the, probably using that book, the book that looked very yeah, much like, I think, we saw, yeah. people point out, looked very much like the books, the, some of the forbidden texts from, like, Doctor Strange. Um, yeah. That's sort of the older, older books, that sort of thing with the spells in them. And the forbidden magic. Yeah, the forbidden yeah. magic. And so the idea, maybe if Stephen from that and using the spells and everything that Mephisto and Agatha have been using, he finds a way to open a portal. Maybe they like, Basically, after what's happened, there's going to be multiverse is just torn apart, which goes exactly into Spider-Man 3 when villains are going to be coming out of woodwork and, and you know, heavily rumored other Spider-Men mm. that the multiverse has been ripped to shreds and that's what stuff starts happening. It works so well. It makes sense. Yeah. Because, like, yeah. that's how, like, high intensity those films are going to be, especially not only Doctor Strange yeah. but Spider-Man, because if it is true that there is going to be more Spider-Man, that there's going to be more villains, which I hope, um, it makes sense because, like, obviously, like, Peter 
it now has his identity revealed and like we said mm. last week as well i don't think i put it in our aftermath episode because it was a bit long but um the fact that you were saying like you know this may not be the peter parker that they know but it is a spider-man that they're still gonna go yeah. after nonetheless so it it makes sense so yeah. if that is if it does happen it would make so much know, sense yeah. and it would be so good it's this whole one division spider-man doctor strange being like this little trilogy Mm. It makes so much sense. And I said, I don't, I so, I'll be so upset if there's a cop out with Pietro. I don't think there will be. I, I don't I, think it will be. I it trust, better not. I trust really them sad. not to. Because I said, this is like, this is the, this is the history moment. This is someone that's not from the MCU in the MCU. If they, as someone said, it made sense for Mysterio. I don't want another multiverse cop out. Yeah. It made sense for Mysterio, but I don't want another one because we literally had it set up in, in far from home in the trailers and everything that yeah it's multiverse and no nah, it's just a, it's just mysterio yeah, it's just, you know mysterio. <laughs> um so i just yeah i don't want it again it worked for mysterio um but like just it works so well of being yeah wanda tears a hole in reality going to spider-man 3 peter is dealing with a fallout of all the stuff going on and then after all the events of that then steven is going to like go on his exposition into the multiverse to find mephisto potentially find wanda and fix everything and mm. that works so well and it just opens up to so much stuff like deadpool coming to the mcu it makes sense yeah. multiverse torn to shreds he can come in you know yeah more people can just come in from other universes now when it's opened up it makes so much sense and it's the sort of thing that they shouldn't uh, chicken out with because everyone bought it and loved it and uh, into, into the Spider-Verse. So yeah. people understand the concept. And also DC's doing it. So they got to beat them to it now. You know, they got to yeah, try, try, try and do the same do thing. <laughs> exactly. And so it's like, um, yeah, I just, I really, I'm thinking what's going to happen is, yeah, everything's, this is all a plan to like break down the walls of the multiverse and get warp reality to get Mephisto here into mm -hmm. this universe it says he's not even he's like outside the multiverse outside yeah. the universe that sort of thing get in, I think. yeah that's the thing i think like you said and i'm starting to think as you said it as well like i think that's going to be one of the big climaxes that happens whether in the, mm -hmm. it's in the next episode and maybe mephisto appears or it's the episode after that like i think wanda's going to be the one who tears that hole in reality like yeah. properly like obviously things are going to shit now because like she can't control her powers properly yeah. but she's gonna be the one to do it and he's just gonna come in and be like yeah this is all my plan and just yeah. like yeah he's gonna ruin that, everything i think i just Which realized brings me to my to the one thing mm -hmm. i saw people talking about last night oh, yeah. so um the ad for the depression tablets oh for, yes uh, like, so let's feel like so i was like i was sort of like watching that thinking it's like Okay, yeah, yeah, I so like I got what they're talking about, but then there's like all the people saying, No, 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 okay, so there's a whole thing of first of all the Nexus. This is yeah. Nexus pills are called. Now there's the Nexus of realities, as it's known yeah. in the comics, which is yeah, the sort of center point between all of the different universes. That's something that's talked about quite a lot, something that's mm. a lot of the Doctor Strange comics. It's something that I saw people pointing out appears as a diagram on a blackboard that Selvig had drawn in Sword of the Dark World when he was talking about different realities and how they intersect. But then it's the other thing beyond all of that, like on top of all of that, it's the whole end line of the advert is, is it, yeah, ne Nexus, because the world doesn't revolve around you, or does it? Mm. And it's a thing that was set up in the comics of Nexus beings. Now, in every single universe, there is a Nexus being. There is a different one for each universe. It's like a different person, each one. The uh, Nexus being for Earth 616, the mainline Marvel Universe, is Wanda. Yes, that's true. Which, and what that means is, yeah, um, Nexus beings are rare individual entities with the ability to affect probability and thus the future, thereby altering the flow of universal time stream. These beings, each referred to as a Nexus, act as keystones of the multiverse and are crucial to the multiverse's coherence and stability. So yeah. someone with the sheer power over the universe itself that Wanda inherently would have, being an Nexus being, mm. is someone that would be able to break down the walls of realities. Yeah. And then I just I remember seeing the simple thing of like this there's a list of like who some of the different um uh Nexus beings are of different universes and said how yeah um Kang the Conqueror is the Nexus being of one of them. Uh Franklin Richards and another vision is in one of them. But then it said Jean Grey is one as well. And I thought yeah. I mean, if they really wanted, they could go the direction of saying that Jean <gasps> from the X-Men films is the next being of that universe. Yeah. You know. Pietro's yes. universe. Yeah. Yeah. And um but yeah, it's sort of 
I rec but yet yeah, setting that off with the whole idea of yeah, it's something that looking back on the episode of a whole life like yeah, this is the reason why it's why it's Wanda that they're going after, why Wanda is instrumental to their plans, because she's the only one with the power. Who can do no. it, yeah. And even and also, I was like, thinking... Um, oh, sorry, I was going to say, amongst the discussion of, like, who's the strongest event Avenger and so on, like, the whole, <laughs> they do bring Nexus beings into the canon, then that literally means that Wanda is the single most powerful being in the universe. Yeah. So, yes! Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was also going to say, with the ad, I, I also thought it was sort of like a metaphor for what may have gone down when Wanda started yeah, all this. I agree. So even yeah. I was thinking whether it was Mephisto or Agatha, she was going to someone to get help or like was yeah, going yeah. for something. And then, you know, because the thing was you you sent me that comic strip and I'll put it up here of Agatha showing um Wanda Vision's body. So yeah. Oh, it's um uh, Mockingbird showing. Yeah, oh, Mockingbird, sorry. Yeah. And there's also another another comic strip as well that I found. Yeah, That's yeah, why I, I got it confused. That me. Agatha was the one who told Wanda that Sword was experimenting with Vision's body, and that's why she went and got him. So I was like, what if Agatha was the one? Maybe, like you said, Mitch, what if mm. Agatha and Mephisto were working together? So yeah. Mephisto sent Agatha to go to Wanda, and Agatha told her and then said, you know, this is where they're having the body. Then Wanda did that, and then Agatha snuck into the into this reality mm. so that she could keep an eye on her so no yeah. maybe i don't know <laughs> i i was gonna say i think that the the i think i figured out the the terminology of it the way i would i think wording it the right way is think that mephisto it's not that he's in another universe because mm -hmm. i think because once he gets into here that's when i think they're going to be going exploring the multiverse that's going to talk strange I think, yeah. so he can't get into the multiverse you know, he's not in another universe he's in a different dimension Ah, uh, yeah. That's the way I word it. Is he's been banished to another dimension, mm. and so they're gonna a dimension and the yeah. dimension. Yeah, maybe there are yeah. different rules with the dimensions yeah. he's in yeah. or something. And so it's like they need to. He needs to get out of dimension to do that. They have to tear down the walls of re the reality and everything. To they got to tear down the walls of the dimensions to get yeah. to where he is, and in doing so, will open up the multiverse. Mm. Um, and I'm thinking that sort of thing that's probably gonna happen is after all of that goes down and it's sort of been uh you know reveal everything's happened and pietro has, wake, has woken up probably the hex is gone so he just remembers everything and you know him and steven there's plenty of scene between him, him and steven and maybe vision's already dead at this point mm. like vision's yeah. gone and it's just like a scene between this is if wonders uh gone with mephisto which i'm starting to think more and more is what i think would be the right way of doing that that'd be yeah. a really interesting uh plot point and like almost as if like because vision dies in some way like sacrifice himself and then Mephisto sort of turns out as look you've got nothing left to fight for why she side with them yeah, you know he's you got, you got no one else on the no one else on their side that you care about anymore just come with me come with me yeah because even you know? in this episode she didn't really care about vision like even when the kids mm. were like do you want to go find him she was like no if he doesn't want to be around like it's fine i don't care and i was mm. like you've mm. cared all this yeah. time so yeah it's just to pull a Star Wars parallel, actually. It's honest, honestly the exact thing that set up, like, as the reason that Vader stayed with Palpatine for the 20 years after everything mm -hmm. that happened and all that sort of thing is basically, it's this whole passage to Revenge of Sith novel that basically breaks it down with saying, like, something that he hates Palpatine. Palpatine's, like, the one that twisted all of this, caused all this suffering to him. He lost the person he loved because of him. But he can't bring himself to attack Palpatine or like do anything to him, you know, in anger because he's all he has left. Mm -hmm. He's the only person that cares about him, the only person that has helped him in yeah. some way. He's all he has left. That's and that sort true. of yeah. that sort of thing of like Mephisto has caused all of this, all this stuff that one's gone through, getting vision to suffer and die again. But it'd be the sort of thing of I'm the only one willing to help you now. Mm, and yeah. or door spinners that way steven be willing to hold it, of course but it's like he can spin it that way if like just come with me i can help you yeah and then maybe like making you know. again making her look like the villain like maybe that's what also tips her over again like people trying to say like what you're doing is wrong but then you mm. know the way she was saying it in the episode where her and vision had a fight and she mm. was like i'm not doing a bad thing i'm doing this because it's the for the good of us this is our yeah. happiness and da 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 so that's probably something else that can like force her to think that she's just always she thinks she's mm. always been in the right but she actually hasn't so yeah that's sort of like in her mind she's just telling herself that that she hasn't it's, ever done anything wrong yeah because that's a major thing just yeah back to the characterization of vader and applying that to this sort of thing is the reason that he goes evil and stays evil 
is there's nothing he hates more than himself. Mm. And all of his anger and his hatred, this is a complete side note, it's just a really cool line I want to mention because you both will appreciate it. It's a comic from like early 2000s. There was a comic, uh, what if, sorry, if a Sith sorcerer has brought Maul back from the dead and he jewels, jewels Vader and he's like almost getting the upper hand and Vader's able to like beat him. And Maul says, so like, you know, your, your, your hatred, your rage, it's so powerful. What could you possibly hate this much? And Vader just looks at him and says, myself, and then kills him. <gasps> and it's like, like it. <laughs> Vader, all of Vader's power, the reason he's so powerful is he has so much rage and hatred for himself. Mm. It's stronger than the hate he could have for anyone else in the galaxy is a hate for himself. That's what fuels him. Yeah. And the idea that's so deep. <laughs> I know. And the the idea that that's maybe like Wanda as well, that she just goes evil because she hates herself so much for what he's mm. what she's done, that just makes she just she's got nothing but hate left. Yeah, that's good. And, that's a good reason as well, not to just yeah. say she's just like mad. Because me and Alex, I think we spoke about this mm. last week. Um, the comparison between her and Daenerys going into madness mm. that was yeah, horribly yeah. done. <laughs> um, but <laughs> like even with this, it's not her intentionally becoming like crazy or even yeah. evil. It's just because she thinks she's doing the right thing when in reality she's not. She's going about it the wrong way. She's hurting other people, but in, she just thinks that she's doing the right thing. But mm. she's mind controlling all these people. And yeah. even people were saying, like, with the Halloween episode, like, it was possibly, like, sort of like the people were sort of dead because they weren't mm. moving and stuff. So she's just taken over these people's lives and ruined them. Yeah. So, but she doesn't see that. She just sees, yeah. like, her kids' vision and then her happy, happy life in um, yeah. Westview. So that's also something else, too. But yeah, this this whole idea of like maybe the, yeah, and the reason she becomes a, she's the villain in Doctor Strange too, and sides with Mephisto sort of thing. Of yeah, he spins all of it, every all the horrible things that he's gotten her to do, he spins that as look at all the horrible things you've done. They'll never forgive you for this. I'm the only person you have a chance of being safe with. They'll just hunt you down. You know, they'll never yeah. trust you. You should feel That's bad like for all the things you've done. The Civil War. Yeah, That's true. You know? Yeah, and just make her think that I'm the only chance you've got. Mm. And like, I'm the she, only one who yeah. will, like accept you for who you are. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's making me think even more that that made the situation going to be the analogy is Mephisto is Palpatine, Agatha is Dooku, and Wanda's mm. Anakin. <gasps> so what if Wanda is the one who like cuts if, down Agatha? If she takes yeah. out Ag Agatha and takes her place, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that would be that would be kind of cool. And even honestly. if like Agatha tries to reach out to well the sidious figure mephisto mm. and Me mephisto's like i'm done with you i don't need you anymore i've yeah. got wanda and it's like yeah. oh, oh that now i'm excited that I actually could be kind of interesting <laughs> that would be that would actually be kind of cool and it would make they would keep things less crowded going doctor strange there's not three mm. villains there's just two because agatha's out of the picture yeah um i'm just picturing the scene of like agatha having all of her power i think she's going to demonstrate in the next few episodes and just a moment of like just her like sort of being overwhelmed by Wanda's power and just looking terrified as Wanda just maybe Wanda just maybe Wanda just kills her. Yeah, and that, I like, wouldn't be surprised. Like, then that's like a big moment of Wanda just snaps and just kills her, and then she sides with. That would Maybe. be really really oh. cool, honestly. If like Wanda's like completely, just completely evil going into, and she's evil because that's all she has left. Yeah, exactly. She has she doesn't think there's any chance of redemption. Mm. She doesn't think anyone will forgive her. Vision's dead. She's got nothing, and so she just goes with him. And then what I'm picturing happening. This has been a long winded thing to get around to this point. No one to make, but I've been having <laughs> other ideas along the way. But what I'm picturing is Stephen is gonna like multiverse is falling apart we'll have something probably post-credit scene to set up spider-man oh yeah probably. it it could well be may, maybe who knows maybe post-credit scene will be a shot of a portal and jamie fox comes out of his electro who knows <laughs> something like that yeah. that could be kind of cool That'll um cool. i wouldn't but be like, surprised at this point yeah but like i feel, I feel like well, as you said now we're probably gonna get two post-credit scenes in the final episode so, yeah two um and the idea that yeah basically set up at the end of one division yeah this pool's opening well not pool, pool, but it's just this breach is happening there's mm. stuff happening everywhere lost control of it he's sort of explaining all this to pietro and he sort of may says to pietro like i can get you back i can open this i found like, i can stabilize this pool you can get back to back to where you are and the idea of maybe going doc strange pietro says no i'm gonna stay i'm gonna help and then going into multiverse madness it's steven and pietro oh gonna, i like, love that I don't want and, Quicksilver to leave. And he's then so no, cool. Stephen and Peter. It would be Peter, yeah, Peter. Peter, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's yeah. Peter now. And then the other level to that, the idea of our heroes in Doctor Strange, if Wanda 
and Mephisto to villains in Doctor Strange, the heroes could be potentially Benedict Cumberbatch as uh, Doctor Stephen Strange, Benedict Wong as Wong, Evan Peters as Pietro or Peter, Peter. and then and then Tobey Maguire as Spider Man, who, who jo- joins them after Spider Man Three. Oh. And so then we have along with Wong and Stephen, we have X Men Quicksilver and Raimi movies Spider Man joining them which would be really cool because then that would we bring be so it cool. for a multiverse movie have two of our heroes are from different universes yeah, yeah that yeah. would be awesome. that would be i would really like that because i think as much as people would want like for example tom holland spider-man i think it's like it's like especially with the theory you came up with about mm. the ending of the film and yeah. obviously even the f- the theories we've been saying like everyone's gonna know ev- and he needs to make a deal with her with mephisto and obviously yeah. mm. like tom holland's Peter Parker won't probably understand like the extent of how bad Mephisto mm. is, but he's just so desperate and he just goes and makes that deal. I, with him. I, I thought of one variation on that that would maybe oh, yeah. make it a little bit easier and would it would still connect to the comics, connect to source material. Is maybe Stephen is the one to use a spell, but it's a spell he's using off of the magic Mephisto is using mm. in one division. It's like okay. basically it's Stephen does this thing to make everyone forget Peter, but it's Mephisto's spell. That like ah, okay. that would still work. It still connects to Mephisto, but it's not literally Peter making a yeah. deal with the devil. You know, it's him doing yeah. it with with Stephen. We're doing it with Stephen. Yeah. yeah, that that was an idea I had of. It would still pay homage to the comics, to so that storyline yeah. of being Mephisto, but it doesn't have to be Mephisto, yeah. which I think would work a little better considering if Mephisto is like off in the multiverse of Wonder mm. during the end of Spider Man, and Peter can't get to him in some way. Yeah. So that was an idea I had, and it wouldn't mm. be the biggest retcon that they've done because, like, I mean, mm. um. Because Ult- Ultron was created by Hank Pym in the comics. Yeah, and then they yeah. made it by by yeah. um. Wasn't ne- Tony? Wasn't Nebula the one due to snap in? Yes. In yeah, the original, in the comics, like yeah, yeah. So I, that's the sort of thing I think of British just bringing it a little bit. It's like Peter doesn't go out and find Mephisto because I think that'd be mm-hmm. too that'd be going too like, off. Yeah, topic. it'll be too heavy presence of Mephisto. Yeah. I feel like we will feel Mephisto's presence in Spider Man, but it won't be mm. like heavy, heavy like Mephisto. Yeah. Like we won't see him, or maybe yeah. we we'll get a, a credit scene with him. But yeah. um, yeah, I think it'll make more sense if Doctor Strange yeah. actually does that. But if, if the book is in Stephen's possession after the yeah, answer one division, it's a spell from that book that he uh, uses yeah. to do it. It's like a spell. Uh, maybe if Fisto wrote that book, maybe, maybe, and it's like then before he was banished to yeah. wherever he's been maybe. sent. Maybe. But yeah, that's just my idea. I think it was just it would. I think that's just it. Just, it, would, it just make it a little easier than Mephisto having to turn up and. They'd be like, hey, kid, you want me to do this thing? They'll make everyone yeah. forget you. Just like, <laughs> it's okay, just, I've Satan. done it, bye. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, if, if Stevens want to do it, but it's a Mephisto spell. Mm, so it's yeah. like, it's still just paying, yeah. you know, just paying homage to that, but it's still, yeah. it's um, it's Steven doing it. But then, yeah, yeah just the idea at the end of Spider-Man, uh, Andrew's Peter goes back mm. to, goes back to his timeline and everything. But then Toby's Peter is like, no, I'm, I'm going to stay and help. Mm. And uh, because... The only thing I'm basing it off of is it's too good that we literally have Sam Raimi is going to be directing a Doctor Strange movie and the potential of and his... Danny Elfman, Danny Elfman yeah. returning to do the score. Yeah. The- yeah. And the idea of Sam Raimi's Peter Parker actor is going to be in the movie before this. <laughs> and it yeah. would be too good if he comes back then and he's in... And then we have Evan Peters and Tobey Maguire with Benedict yeah. Cumberbatch as Doctor that, Strange. That, that, that'd be that so would, cool. That would then bring it together as a, tri- as a trilogy even. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, because like all these characters from the different like movies yeah. like, come together for that final. Evan battle. Evan is introduced in One Division, and then Toby's introduced to Spider Man Three, and then they're both with Stephen in Doctor Strange, mm. hunting down Wanda, who we haven't seen since One Division. Yeah, you know, and it makes that sense that would we wouldn't really see cool. them during Spider Man. I just there's there's some. It's one of those things where you're like you as a fan are writing these ideas, and like God, I hope that they they I were as on. Right. I, I hope they were having as as much in depth thought about this as as the fans are because it's some mm. really good ideas. It's like it's almost feels too good to be true, but I I feel like they're on top of it. I feel oh, like yeah, I think so too. Like they've done such yeah. a fantastic job with One Division. It's one of my favorite shows at the moment, and mm. it's just so different from yeah. any other show. And it's taken a lot more risk than I thought it would. So yeah, I'm just totally. hoping they go even further because like, again, this is like, especially like this is going a little bit off topic, but even with Cruella, like that's such a different mm, Disney yeah. feel from what it usually is. And even One Division, so different. Everyone was like, ah, it's probably going to be boring. No one's going to like it. Yeah. <laughs> Look yeah. how good it is. It's so popular every week. So it's like it's they're, they're really like surprising the audience and even yeah. me. I'm just so surprised by what they've done, and I just I want to be surprised continuously. So I just hope like. <laughs> 
Yeah. You know, they keep that sort of beat up and they're not afraid to take more chances with it. Just wanted to mention, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I have a theory of... Um, Another one. Yeah. So <laughs> Paul was clarifying some of the stuff ah, yeah, yeah. recently, oh, like yeah. his like whole thing of talking about the actor that he gets to work with mm. in the show that he's wanted to work with his whole, his whole life and mm. so on. Now... He said that lots of people are thinking that it's uh, Stephen Strange. He said, no. So it's the thing that um, back in, I think it was in 2011, there was this interview that Paul did one time when I asked, who are some of your acting idols? Mm. And then he said, Robert De Niro <laughs> and Al Pacino. Now, Al Pacino no! has said before... As if! <laughs> He said before that he's a that he's a big fan of the MCU. He said that yeah, he watched Guardians one and is like, oh wow, this is amazing. No, he's uh, yeah, your Guardians one. Oh, you mean that? <laughs> <laughs> it's also it's also on it's also on record that he has met with Kevin Feige a couple times. Talked with Kevin about like potentially having a role. There was huge rumors like no, back fuck back off, as if about. about <laughs> Like, it, it was heavily rumoured before Kurt Russell was cast that Al was going to be playing oh, um, yeah. uh, Ego in Guardians 2. And I, Kurt I Russell was thought, really good, though. I love yeah, Kurt he Russell. Was, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's going to be Al Pacino. Oh, now, yeah! it's, oh, worth, it's, it's worth pointing out in, like, Devil's Advocate, he played the devil. That's yeah. true. So, like, but they're it's... used to that sort of on the nose. Yeah. yeah. At the kick ass reference. Yeah. It's... Oh, my God. That's going to be amazing. It's, if it's, it a, it is. it's a really. It's going to be Al. It, I, I buy that because it's the MCU thing. Like, you know, when you have a major character introduced, it's got to be a major actor playing. Oh, it has yeah. to be. To Especially be this with big the character moments. of Mephisto. Mephisto's been going huge. All, and going so, all the way back to, like, when, yeah, when Nick Fury turns up and, oh, shit, it's Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. yeah it's, you know? Oh, my God, perfect yeah. casting. Yeah. yeah. And it's, like, the sort of thing as well that he's got to be, an, whoever Mephisto's got to be, He's going to be an actor that can play against Benedict Cumberbatch and be the intimidating. Yeah. Like, this, the scary person in the scene against Benedict yeah. as Stephen. Oh, no, no. Yeah. I'm just, like, trying to think of, like, the costume <laughs> and stuff, and now I'm really excited. Oh, my God. I think... So, yeah. Anyway, anyway we can go back to division. Yes. <laughs> Monica. Yes. Monica. Monica. Yes. Yes. Photon. Uh, that whole scene was so good. Oh, Epic. God, Looks that was sick. So clean. Brilliant. That was like getting all those little callbacks to Captain yeah. Marvel, like getting to hear Maria, Carol, and um, and Fury as well. Yeah, mm. like that bit was absolutely that was lovely. Brilliant. I know like, the, the, the shot of like the different versions of her, and she sort of yeah. just pulls them all together. Yeah. And then her yeah. eye, when her eyes turned yeah. blue, I was like, my makeup was done properly for once. Yeah. Then <laughs> hell yeah. Also, wait, yeah, wait. shout out shout out to Alex because he's you the said, one who chose the colors. Yeah, he said blue. You said maybe to wear the blue. You said yeah. the blue. You said yeah. the blue. <laughs> you like genius. he was right about something else. <laughs> yeah. Because he first thought it was going to be blue Marvel. So then that's why yeah. I was like, okay, I'll do blue yeah. and black and white. But it still was the same color it that works. she wears it as works. well in her suit as well. So I was like, okay, cool. At least yeah. I got something right. <laughs> and he had the undersuit of um her spacesuit. That's like, that's pretty much basically what her like sort of um, main costume is. In mm. the comics, minus her training yeah. coat that she usually has. Just find a picture. Uh, yeah. I'll put it up here. Also, it's um, uh, so yeah, oh, yeah. Lots of people um referring to her as um photon. Mm-hmm. But I'm thinking, <clears throat> I personally, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if she goes by a name photon in mm-hmm. the sh- um in the show. But then also, I think she might be called. She might have the name Spectrum because yeah. one of her other. Identities. I'm not against it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like One a of cool name. Identities from the comics, and also I think it just kind of fits what we seem to be the way her power set is mm. being presented. So I was looking at the thing like I thought, okay, so obviously it's like sort of light and energy based powers, mm. thing, but then said as well, any kind of any kind of waves or energy or something is like something she's um, she can she is aware of and can manipulate and so on. And radio waves, one of them. I thought, mm. Oh well, that's the bit when yeah. she, her eyes were going first time she could see like looking at all the power mm. lines seeing like yeah. waves coming off them it's like she was every seeing everything in mm. radio waves there i feel like spectrum is kind of a better fit than for like yeah. that sort of yeah. Photon, yeah. all the waves and everything but um but yeah it's um yeah that whole sequence is just like yeah really like just sort of <laughs> it was the thing like we'll watch so like watching and realizing that Oh yeah! Oh shit! We're watching like a superhero origin here. It's like yeah, yeah it's, like it's yeah, happening I right here. Haven't had one of these in the MCU for a little while. Mm. Yeah, totally. So that's why I was shocked that it even happened because, like, even yeah. afterwards, I was thinking like, 
oh, like I thought this was going to happen in Captain Marvel two or something. Like we'll actually see her powers mm -hmm. in more in more like working more. Like we might see a little glimpse of it, but seeing it actually like like her getting them and just using them and getting through like that little like portal sort of thing. And then yeah. when she went up against Wanda and then she just slams on the ground, that was like yeah. the best. It was so good. <laughs> Absolutely loved it. So I, now I cannot wait to see her in Captain Marvel 2 and maybe in Spider-Man or maybe in anything else, really, Hopefully. whatever she else might be in. So you really quick about the aerospace engineer, who oh, yeah. we did not get to see tonight. We did not see at all. I I mean, the, we should get him because they were set up as like, yeah, the aerospace engineer, but we didn't like the, the person that uh, Monica met. It couldn't have been them. She was an aerospace oh, yeah. engineer because she was like a the military lady. Military. Yeah, she was called a, and she was called a major. You know? Yeah. Mm. So there's Coffee. an aerospace engineer that built the thing that we haven't seen yet. And it was mm. the, he or she was set up in the last episode. And also, Jimmy needs someone to talk to on the outside now. Yeah. Yeah. Jimmy has to have someone to, to act against, you know? Um, so I'm personally in favor of I'll put a picture of him in the group chat. Okay. Uh, Leo Fitz from Agents of yeah. S.H.I.E.L.D. Oh, yes. He was saying that. I, I, I'm personally in, in favor of him because of the fact that, yeah, he is an engineer. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, you know, in the latest season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., him and the rest of the team, like, did end up going into, like, the far future and dealing with, like, some quantum stuff happening. So, like, mm. he would have some knowledge of this. And, yeah, it's just, like, I just feel like... Um, his appearance would be really cool. It, it's I, 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 we're not going to get something big as like Blue Marvel or anyone else or Reed Richards, mm. the aerospace engineer, because we're going to be getting probably Doctor Strange and Mephisto in the next episode. We don't have time yeah. for another big reveal. Exactly. So I think the aerospace engineer is going to be someone kind of smaller than that. It's going to be a reveal. Uh, I'd say, yeah, like on par with like uh, Darcy and Jimmy, mm. which I think is fits, fits the bill perfectly because like he is, you know, a favorite character of anyone that like you know watched Agents of Shields, and also the reason I think I'd be really excited about that is uh, Endgame canonized Captain uh, uh, Agent Carter by having Jarvis turn up. Right? Yeah. Mm. Do this canonizes Agents of Shields, meaning the last batch of series that need to be canonized is a Netflix series. Yeah. And so, yeah, have Fitz turn up, and then have, have yeah, we had Jarvis turn up in Endgame, then we have Fitz turn up in this, and then we have Charlie Cox and Spider Man. That's all the series is, and now part of MCU as well. Yeah. Sorry, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, what was that about? Thoughts about One Division? <laughs> all right. Yeah, thoughts about One Division. <laughs> um, I I know I know I say it every week, but this is my favorite episode so far. Oh yeah, and, it was uh, great. Yeah. Yeah. I think pacing was a little off for me sometimes, but most of all, yeah, this was probably one of my favorite episodes. I remember how much you enjoyed the one line of just like the sort of the going with the characterization of, of um, Agnes of this like just completely Agatha, sorry, yeah. of like this completely like you know just evil cackling witch and everything. Of the line we had the whole sort of thing revealing just behind all of it, and then just the and I killed Sparky too moment. So like you I was know, like, oh you just, bitch! <laughs> and it's just like I don't, me and so I just started bursting laughter because it's so over the top and like yeah. ridiculous and, and how like, dark. Ah! It, yeah. And how, like, Louis evil Lop. she is. Yeah. It's, like, just that little moment of, like, you know, oh, yeah, and I killed the dog as well. <laughs> it's, like... <laughs> just, like, I, knife deeper into the stomach sort of moment. I read, I, <laughs> uh, and she killed your dog. Yeah. <laughs> and then that whole moment of going to the basement was so, like, almost a horror movie. Yeah. It's so creepy. That was terrifying. I know you, you said, Sandy, you, like, you're actually tense watching oh, that yeah, moment yeah. unfold. Because like, yeah. it's so scary because it just goes dead silent and then the camera just switches to the door and it's, like... Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> and then the, just the line, where's the kids? Oh, they're probably just playing in the basement. It's like, oh, it's like, no. Yeah, it was like oh, the no. basement. Oh, was like, no. oh, of course. Not the, not the fucking horror. basement. Exactly, <laughs> the fucking basement. And especially yeah. the scene, oh, like the no. little shot of like her standing at the top of the stairs. I was like, oh my God, this is no, 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 yeah. no. <laughs> and there's just like a freaking castle dungeon under there. I yeah. think, I personally think that that is a, that as is the basement is weaving into a different universe. Oh, yeah. And that dungeon oh, yeah. is part of a different. <gasps> what if there's a place. summoning circle? Oh, oh God. Yeah. She's going <gasps> she's, she's gonna to summon the devil, which will be yes. getting the feast over here, you know? Oh, oh that perfect. makes so much sense. And then there's a big, bu big burst of light. So a big spike ring and it's all the, no, oh! Yeah. <laughs> oh! There he is. He just appears, you know? <laughs> We're obviously going to be filled in oh, with yeah. everything. <laughs> we're going to be filled in with everything else too. I feel like we're going to see that scene where Wanda is um, in the uh, in Sword and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. And we're going to see like everything that transpired before 
obviously yeah. the beginning of one division yeah so i'm yeah. excited There's for that. Flash people theorizing that uh, next week's episode could be like an entirely sort of flashbacks mm. episode, first of all showing like leading half and half i'd say yeah, yeah, yeah i think yeah, it'll yeah. be going back and forth yeah 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 maybe it might it could be the sort of thing of yeah a lot of this is sort of like we're seeing like wanda's memories flashing before herself while she as she's being controlled mm, by, yeah uh, do that and then potentially seeing like you know some of like seeing some stuff from agatha's perspective of like you know she's setting everything up yeah uh any further predictions for next week um i want mephisto to appear yeah um <laughs> mephisto pacino mephisto pacino <laughs> times in front of a mirror. i'm thinking something like that that's the sort of way it's gonna go like it's building towards the sort of things happening maybe even we're seeing flashback stuff maybe even steven does turn up in the next episode mm. and it's like you know he's trying to stop this thing happening and then yeah. portal opens and then yeah al pacino as mephisto just walks out it's like he's yeah. here and then we end on Either that note. Either he walks yeah. out or it would be cool because obviously like he is a manifestation of the devil. It would be mm. cool like if if it is like the star like summoning circle if it is going to go that dark yeah. like or if oh, it's I just a circle. That would be cool. It would be cool if they just get the hands and it's just grabbing on the oh, sides yeah. and it's just oh, pulling man. himself up and as yeah. he does Please stand by and it will kill everybody and be like, yeah. fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> Two episodes of like, Agatha's the villain. We'll find out what evil plan is next week and she'll try and enact it but then that's not going to work for that's not going to yeah, fit for, for two episodes like a two hour episode no. <clears throat> so i'm thinking that it's probably gonna be, yeah mephisto is going to turn up at the end of the next episode and then the final episode is dealing with all of that mm. steven's here he's there they've got to stop him wonder is on their side this whole battle's gonna happen vision's gonna sacrifice himself. whatever happens there and then and then that's gonna sort the, of like meld into what's yeah gonna and in then the next two films the final <laughs> Pardon me. The final fifteen minutes of the episode will be setting up, uh, Spider, or setting up Doctor Strange and probably Spider Man, mm. or maybe it'll end on a sudden note, but then we'll have two post credit scenes setting up. I mean, I would Spider-Man. love it for it to just end with them leaving, and then it's just like Vision dead, um, mm. Agatha dead, and then just like they don't know what to do. It's just sort of yeah. like that. Sort of like I want to. It all, it's Infinity it's War. very bad, but I want that Infinity War feeling of <laughs> yeah. just being left with what the fuck are we going to do? Because it's yeah. just like, I remember leaving the theatre and I was like bawling my eyes out with Infinity mm. War. So I want to be left with one division, either bawling my eyes out and be like, what the heck I, is going to happen yeah, next? I, <laughs> Alex, yeah. what about you? Do you have any more theories about next week's uh, episode? None that I haven't said already, but mm-hmm. Al Pacino is Mephisto. Yeah. Uh, I reckon we'll, I think we might see Steven next week. Yeah. Right at the end. Yeah, yeah I'm maybe. thinking so too. Like him trying to break in. Steven and Mephisto turn up at the same time at the end of the episode. Yeah. Mm. That's what I'm thinking. Of the thing. Like Steven arriving at the facility outside mm. with meeting Jimmy mm-hmm. and then having, like, just like sort of having the shot of, like, you know, maybe we hear, like, sort of, yeah, it's like, no, no, it's, yeah, something's going on inside the hex. And then just, you know, like, hear a voice off screen, Jimmy turns, and just have, like, this low shot as you see his, like, boots as he's, like, slowly lowers yeah. in the yeah. frame. Yay! You know? It's just, like, kind and of then... super- Superman imagery and having yeah, that shot with, like, bit, the, yeah. red, the red cape. You yeah. Know, and, the... and then having, like, <laughs> then just, yeah, the close-up is, so, like, you know, you see it, uh, you know. Yeah. 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 And, and then, like, him, awesome. like, trying to get through, like, the, yeah. sort of, like, the barrier, and yeah. then, like, he mm. breaks in, but it's too late because a certain yeah. someone's gotten through. Yeah. <laughs> I... This is not a prediction for next week. It's a prediction for the week after, final episode. Oh, yeah. This is a yeah. simple, very simple line. I think if it's yeah, definitely Al Pacino's movie, so he would deliver this line in such a chilling way. I just would love to hear him say this line of like, as they're escaping, like maybe Wonder and Wonder and uh, and Mephisto are escaping. Just a line of him saying just to Stephen something like, "See you soon, Doctor." Just saying <laughs> that. Just like just yeah. saying that line as he just disappears through the portal or yes. something. You know, oh. it's just like that would be really, really cool. Please yeah. bring Mephisto in! Oh my god! That's uh, that's another <laughs> week of One Division, and oh. uh, yeah, I guess we got a quite, a seemingly quite an eventful week. That one we got an week. eventful week of waiting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once again. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you doing the sign out, bitch? Yeah, I guess I'm. So. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching, and we will see you next week. And remember, for the children. Children. <laughs> Bye everyone! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>